Great stuff on the breakdown there, Revan, and we are ready for a CTF. Can FaZe do what Optic did to them last time? Well, Can they pull a reverse sweep on Optic? That'd be the yeah, two that, crazy that would be kind of crazy. So uh, in this game mode overall in stage two, FaZe is five and five. Side of Optic Gaming, eight and five. Um, on this particular map mode combination, uh, FaZe one and one, Optic Gaming two and one. Okay, so, uh, I mean, not a lot of separation there between 1-1 one and, one and 2-0, and oh, but both teams pretty solid. We'll see who's able to get the edge here, but when you look at it by percentages, uh, it seems like, I mean, outside of, uh, well, I mean, honestly, Optic, God, their game modes are so good. Their Hardpoint, S&D, and CTF are all in the same ballpark when you're talking about percentages. It's just, yeah, they're uplink. Yeah, the one that there. you would have liked to take advantage of if you were phased was the uplink, yeah. which you do end up winning, but sure. it's not even one of your best ones. And you see a uh, Man of War, Overclock, HCC, High Count, Overdrive here go first. Uh, you still have Rapid Fire in the game that can potentially go here. Uh, Scump's going to get rid of Concussion, so you assume these last two to be Rapid Fire Flashbang, but we did see one of the tacticals making it and last time does not this one it goes exactly the way we think yeah if you're if you're looking for an interesting band protect this is not the series you're going to get it in, no. unfortunately they're uh, they're going to play it as standard as possible but now we'll see if the specialist draft comes out overdrive really the only thing coming off so we'll see what these teams opt to go for if it's going to be your your big three of heat weave camo kinetic and one weapon or if maybe we see two weapons pulled out by either side Let's see a slight heat wave kinetic on the side of Optic, they go probably it has camo. To be camo, camo. Last thing, camo. Last thing on the other side, you would just not a real reason to. You have to have not camo, camo in yeah. CTF. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Is it as crucial as maybe uplink? I, I maybe not because you get it so much more in uplink, it leads to a predominant amount of your scores. But still, very very important here in CTF allows you to get in, pick up some of those caps, or maybe fight back, get a big return. Um, but as as we start to look at this now, and we're going to begin to talk a little bit about fringe. CTF as a mode. Uh, I know. Let's not talk about. We we broke down kind of statistics and where these teams are. But do you do you favor any th team here just by the map? Do you think this plays uh, towards the suits of one of these teams a little bit stronger? I mean, look, yeah, it's going to be a long range map. Obviously, fringe. You're looking at the two ARs on either side. You look at you know formal and karma, and you look at clay and enable. How and those four players they play match during up pretty, this game. They match pretty up pretty well. Yeah, as close as anybody could to OG's assault yeah. rifle play. Then uh, you look some of the better SMGs we have as well. In this game, I think it kind of comes down to uh, you know, can attach, make a play, get to the base with his camo. I think that's what you're really looking at. Attach, uh, we've seen him do okay. it with Overdrive when Overdrive's made it through in CTF on this uh, map. He's done a tremendous job with that. How he uses camo to get those poles will be uh, kind of what I'm looking at. The AR play and then how they use these abilities to get the flex. And then the other part of this that always ends up being key, I mean, score streaks, when you're talking about being able to pick up that that Hellstorm, that Lightning, more crucial in this game mode probably than any other. So yeah. who's able to play a little bit a little bit safer, a little bit closer to the chest, pick up some big kills? Maybe, uh, I, I don't think there's anyone on this team that's going to be too turdy. Uh, but still, we'll see who no. can get uh, maybe some of that slaying going. Now, let's take a look at the map here as we hop in two French caps of the flag. Talk to me a little bit about where you need to get your caps from. Which side well, are you going to want to do the most damage, Matt? I think, look, you can get uh, good flags from both sides, but I think attacking the blue flag is obviously the preferred location. You're able to get the flag, get into barn, get to that top side of your mini-map. You make it down to those tracks area, get all the way across, good cover. You can't be seen from the middle lane, and you're able to go home free. I think it works the same way, though, from uh, when you're attacking towards that red flag. You're able to go towards the red flag, you spawn them back alley, and you take it down tracks, and you're able to get it safely in the barn. Once you get it all the way down tracks in the barn, you figure you're pretty much good to go. All right, well, player's going to be loading in soon. We'll be ready to go here momentarily for our game four. Optic going up against FaZe. Can FaZe stay alive here and push it to a game five? I know it's what we all want. Well, outside of all the Optic fans, but I would love me a game five here on our match of the week. Or will Optic be able to shut it down and close things out? I'm going to start off with the birthday boy, Mr. Scumalicious. See what he can do here off the rip on French. And, uh, it's very interesting to watch the assault, uh, assault, well, SMG players play here on Fringe. It's uh, one of the harder maps to be an SMG player. It's going to be Optic actually just uh, going to run one sub. Four will actually be running the Shiva, so it'll be uh, something to keep note of, uh, keep an eye on. And uh, it'll be the side of FaZe running two SMGs, so that's the main difference you'll see. It'll be uh, one SMG on the side of Optic. It'll be two and two on the side of FaZe. Oh, Scump able to find one, push back to tracks, not able to clean up the second, so it's going to leave Karma by himself. He's on the offensive end of things. 
So a naval and Karma may have chances to make a play on the flag for either team. Karma's going to go ahead and grab this, try to get back to 10. He's going to need a little bit of help. Actually, he's able to get to the edge. Is anyone able to get there? He's moving as fast as he can, sliding, diving. He's there, and that is an opening cap in the opening 40 seconds here for Optic Gaming. And you talk about somebody God. making a play. That is a nice play there by Karma. And just the intelligence to when he picks up the flag they right? were three down okay man, so he, he was there he picks up the flag and he sees that first player over by the truck he takes him out and he knows that's where the spawn is coming in he immediately does not even hesitate beelines back over towards back alley such a smart play there by karma well solid stuff to get a point on the board here early they're playing a little bit of defense we're going to stick with karma cac builds towards streaks that cap going to help and the one burst there but eventually will drop now you've got a 1v1 these are like the two players remaining on the map. Scump able to win that gunfight. Not an easy one, but will shut down Clayster. Eventually drops right after. Let's uh, switch over to the phase attack for a little bit. This phase tries to work their way up the map. Nice shots coming in from Enable. Able to get the headshot, able to round the corner as well. He just needs some help from his duo. That's Zuma coming in. They've got some pressure going forward. And now you got a they good need opportunity someone to, to get play. to the back of Barn, though, and clear this area out. I mean, now that they're just kind of stuck at the barn door, Need to be able to pick these skills up because now Krim is taking the flag out. Attach is going to have a big one-on-one -on -one battle to win against Krim. Uh, he, might have, he, he, he might have got baited into running right behind him. That was so sick by Krim. But now he's the only player up. And there's going to be a flag out on the other side. Thankfully, your his face, teammate spotting with uh, him here. I, I don't know if I'd like that decision. If you're face, I think you run that flag directly at Krim. You force him to spawn on the opposite side of the map. And, uh, you, you eliminate the, the option for a stalemate. You kind of take the chances of fighting that two-on-one -on -one gun battle. Well, now, with two down for either side, it's basically, basically going to reset. Attach is going to be the only one in a position to maybe, I guess, kind of irritate the side of Optic a bit and try to make a play on the flag. But he's going to wait for a little bit of help. Slithering forward here like a snake. He's got one above him. Karma, so wise, able to sniff that out, not allow him to make a play. I don't think he noticed the one to his left. Oh, God, almost able to turn up, though, and take him out. So Enable, I just want to switch to Enable because Enable's also on a three streak. I want to see how close he is. So he still has a ways to go. The three streak, but if he gets the score plus maybe another kill, that'd be looking very, very good for him. Uh, Optic's starting to press up the map a bit. Let's see where Scumpy's at. So if he's able to pick up one, that's got to be go. Especially if he wins this second. Not able to do so, but I thought he was going to have Formal with him, but Formal actually has to wrap back and play a little bit of defense. Uh oh. Oh, well. Oof. I was going to say. Bailed himself out with a headshot. If that player kills him in Barn, there's a chance, uh, you know, forcing that one-on-one on Krim. And Zuma picks up two big kills. And oh, they, oh, they actually take Krim out with the flag. Leaving the flag here. Leaving the flag here. I want to see if they got the return yeah. in. So Enable should be able to put it through. Karma there's the score. To try and stop him. But uh, it's not able to connect. And Clay actually has they to play now for FaZe. Trying to this. get out towards the mid-street. Oh, He's going to get tagged up. Gets oh, into Z. The and this is going to be another cap. Two big plays. Oh, hold on a sec. The flag is stopped. And it's going to be... Attach trying to pick it up. He's going to get tagged up. He should My be able God. to get in. Just get it through. You felt good for Optic. They score in the opening 40 seconds. But in 40 seconds, you get two caps as an answer here for FaZe. They have now taken control. Uh, you have Camo. Looks like you earned a dart there. Enable earned a dart as well. Uh, the, the one good thing for Optic here, at least when you had the letdown, you allow a couple caps to go through. No major score streaks earned yet. But look, Enable still on this five streak. He picks up two more kills. He's looking at this lightning. Or picks up one more. He's looking at the lightning. What two more? And he would have the Cerberus. So can he find even an assist? Anything he has to stay. I got the assist. He got it right as he dropped. And actually earned him the Cerberus. That is huge. Uh, the Cerberus. That was obviously like right of, as he died. One of the better score streaks here in CTF. You just drop it in and around your base and let it do work for you. So big play there by Enable. Just uh, able to tag up a bunch of players. His teammates finish him off. And... You see, it's going to be FaZe going in, trying to get one last pull attempt on the board. Well, let's see if they're able to get anything going with the time remaining. Looks like they definitely want to make a play as Clay has this Tempest out. He wants to put a dagger through to close out the half. Can he get it to back alley? Is he going to check his right side is the question. He's worried about behind. He's got one to his left. He has to get going, though. He doesn't have really a lot of time to work with. And that shot, he hits on Karma. Seven seconds left. He's got to book it. He's got to go. He's running. He's flying. Two seconds. Can he get it? There's the cap in the final seconds for FaZe. <laughs> that shot with the Tempest. Even, what a snap. I didn't even see, like, when we're on board with Clay, I didn't even see Karma come across his screen. Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> Oh, not the first time we've seen him with some late-game heroics with, with the a Tempest. Tempest. Yeah, yeah, man. Woo!
Oh. See, that's a play you can't make with a scythe. Nope, you cannot. Can't make that play with a scythe. Now, I want to see how close up a clay. All right, so he's still got a ways to go. 225 to work towards the dart here. Remember, if you're enable, uh, enable drop this. I was going to say, he already used it. I hope he didn't use it last half. So he's going to put it defensively off the break. What do you think about that? I usually, save it for a little while? I usually prefer uh, no, saving it for a little bit. And uh, wait, I think. Uh, What's the plan here? Is he just, is, is, is he just pulling out the lawnmower? He's actually going to control okay. it. He's controlling it. There's two. And able to cut everything down. I mean, that's pretty big. You don't know if they were able to. Well, actually, look at this. They threw the trophy down. Okay, so I understand what they're doing. Oh, they're my God. There's trophies everywhere. Trophies oh, down Lord. everywhere, and they're going to control it. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. There are trophies just they're everywhere. They're going to use this almost like a sentry gun. That basically is, and they've got a pool on the other side. Uh, I, 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 can't, I can't leave the robot, though. Uh, you hear the trophies going off? Go ahead. Come on in. Come on in. Let's dance. Let's dance. And as long as he stays near these trophies, oh, the he'll be good. Oh, the loses them. Oh, God. Imagine they get a pull and make a play here. Have they been able to but tag anything No, they're yet? still trying to get it, but the trophies are picking it up. It's a fantastic play by Face. <laughs> <laughs> he needs more trophies. Ah, oh, he's dropped in the back. The Serper is still up, though. Zuma playing a bit of defense. Uh, no more caps get in. I'm curious if Enable comes off spawn and takes control. Yes, he does. He's right back in it, baby. Yep. This is the most action, more tro most action more. we've seen with the Cerberus. Yeah, get some more trophies around it and let it make plays. He sees one in the back trying to tag him up. I think he took another... Uh, well, you hear the trophies taking in some EMPs right now. Or taking in nades as they're trying to bring it up. He still oh. picked up kills. How many has he got? Four or five kills? It's got to be. It's, uh, it's an interesting strat. Have not seen it, but this is kind of one way to manufacture yourself a... A sentry gun here. I'm mostly curious about how long it ends up lasting. That's the reason I've stayed on with Enable so long, is I'm just wondering. Oh, is it destroyed now? No, it's still up. It's still up. He's probably going to get back. Nope, he's going to leave it go for now. And all right, so think about this. You've already wasted two minutes and a half. You have a two-cap lead. You have streaks to work with. Uh, so Krim's going to get out. i got to go back to Enable on spawn. Does Enable use anything to try and make a play? Does he use it? Yep. Here's going to come to health. No, I don't like this play. He's going to try and cut him down. He's able to get him. Is there anyone else to get the return, though? I don't think there's anyone there. I don't like that and play And they use the dart as well, I believe, and Optic still gets the cap in. So basically the second the Cerberus drops, are they going to, are they going to tie the game the instant the Cerberus goes away? No, you think Skump's going to use his kinetic here. Oh, actually, he gets Ooh, EMP, so he look at those end. shots. He's still up. He needs some help. They're trailing by one. Just well, over two to go. The issue here for FaZe is like everybody is just sh forcing and looking over towards the flag and they're actually getting pinched from the other side. You see the Kinetic come in. Scum's going to have some cover from one teammate and it's going to be all on Clay to finish this off and he's able to kill. Scum now needs his teammates to go big. Clay going to turn the corner, has one player directly in front of him, not able to pick it up. Formal's going to pick up the flag. We got a tie and game, And we have baby. a tie game. As soon as that Cerberus goes, Optic Gaming puts think two about flags on the board. how ridiculous that is. The Cerberus lasts for two minutes, well, in which Optic it. could if, do if like nothing. If they would have pu pulled out that strat at the end of this round for the last like, yeah. two, three minutes, it's over. I mean, 60 seconds after that dissipates, you're able to get through two more scores. And it's tied up three to three. What insane game this is. Now we're looking at Cram trying to pick up some gunfights mid -street. He's able to pick up one before falling. Scump and Formal trying to play a little bit of defense on the backside. Formal's picked up one at tracks. Scump now looking mid. Uh, he has a dart to work with. We'll see if that ends up coming into play. But now they're going to try and apply some pressure down tracks. Nice ability to win a gunfight there. They have a 3v2 advantage. Curious if they're going to start to push up a little bit more. He's EMP checking. I'm curious. Can you check some of the players on phase? Are any of them running hardwired? Because they were. Oh, I would almost... I would highly doubt if any of them are. Well, two of them ran it. What was it in the... None are now. Yeah, none are I now. think, was it in the S&D or the hard point? I can't the remember. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay. None are now. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, EMPs are a huge part of uh, the respawn right, game well. modes in uh, Search and Destroy. Obviously, don't want to give away positions. That's why you see Hardwired more in that game mode. Well, last time we saw Clayster pull this out, it was big. This time, it was nothing. Who it's... is that at the bottom of the minimap on Optic Gaming? Oh, uh, well, he should be able to make a play. Scump just won one yeah. against Attach. I think he was last guy. Oh, my God. One just came off spawn. Two pops. He spawned at that white truck, I think. Oh, Lord. How do they spawn there with Scumpy? With Scumpy on that side? Wouldn't they spawn tracks? You'd think. Uh, right there, Krim trying to Is make a last Is it because Attach effort. was maybe still alive right when that player popped, you think? Like, he killed him right it's as the possible. spawn came in? It's, it's uh, definitely possible. 14 seconds left. Doesn't look like either team's going to be getting too aggressive. 
up the map, and we should be going into OT. It's overtime, baby. And uh, I think we have uh, a dart for Scump. I think Enable still has a lightning, if I remember correctly. No, I don't think Enable is well, running he... lightning. No, he's running dart. Oh, he's server, server. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hellstorm server. That's right. Yeah, right. so uh, Enable going to have, I believe, just a dart. I was going to say, I remember him using the Hellstorm, but I forgot yeah. that he had dart. Servers. A good second half from Optic as uh, they force OT. Faze, uh, you got to applaud them. That's a hell of a strat. I think they just pulled it out a little bit too early. Well, now we go. It's overtime, baby. Who's able to get the attack first? Uh, one thing I'll tell you, look at the top right. You've got specialist galore for the side of Optic Gaming. You have nothing to work with if you're phase. you got to think, maybe you get aggressive here if you're Optic. Get a couple kills, use some of these weapons and abilities, and try to open the game up quickly. Yeah, if Optic can get a, a flag from this side, it would be huge. You know, I figure they go into the second half, and I, I don't want to say they have it easy, but I think they're able to close it out now formal turns at the most inopportune time and it's going to be a few players dead for optic gaming it's going to be able into the og base he's able to pick up one gets in a bar and this should we, be a cap we may have a game five we may very well have a game five this should be a score clayster is going to watch the overextend he should line this one up there it is the cap goes through and that was formal using 52 53 seconds formal, wow formal, phase formal pops a scythe there I, uh, you think you want to save that for the other side right overtime? Here. Yeah, it's right here, right here soaring out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yo, he just popped it. He didn't even have it up ready to shoot by the time he was dead. Well, that could end up costing you. Do you think he died mid-transition that it won't cost him? I don't think so. It's probably no, gone. No, no. It, it, it gave uh, Clay the credit for a site. Oh, kill, yeah. So. Duh, duh. Yeah, you saw it pop up. Okay, so he's not going to have anything. Uh, attach. We'll have camo. But let's focus on the optic attack. You've got camo to work with and also heat wave. Let's see what Krim's able to do with the camo. Because you, you've got no time to work with. You've got to go. you got to get plays. they got smokes out. He's already going to be hunting. Does he check his right corner? He saw the gun, but not able to react. Nice positioning there as Attach able to pick it up. That's three down. Karma's the only one up. And you're at a point where I, Karma needs to pull the flag somehow because the three coming off spawn may not even get there in time to be involved in the flag pool. You need Krim there with his camo, maybe. Yeah, you're running out of time here. I mean, OG at this point has to go mid-map with it. Uh... Scum trying to play the dart. He's able to get one. Karma pulls the flag. No That's chance That's to it. get it home. That's it. And We're going to game five, baby. You had, oh, God. You had the reverse sweep for Optic the last time around. Now it looks like his face is turned for revenge. We're going to a game five. Where are we headed? Uh, it'll be a S&D on EVAC. Uh, search and destroy. Obviously, Optic's best game mode here in Ooh. stage two. Uh, phase 12 and 12 in the mode on that map specifically you got uh, optic sitting at undefeated 4-0 in the back s d here and where do we have phase uh two and one two and one so not not bad either but 4-0 nope. certainly looks a whole lot better but wow yeah i i i don't know i'm almost part of me is like glad phase got the win after seeing the strap with the Cerberus. Yeah. they held him off for two minutes and to choke away those two caps in 60 seconds you were like oh man that's kind of painful to watch but the overtime was textbook. They got the score in 52 seconds, I think it was. They take the victory. Incredible stuff from FaZe. They're able to push it to a game five. This is one hell of a match of the week. Oh, it's been a, a tremendous match of the week. Our second to last. It's kind of upsetting. Next week will be our last week of the regular season here in stage two. This is my fake sad face. Fake sad face? No, no, I am going to be sad, but I'm excited. No, but, well, I know at the end of stage two, it means we have the stage two land. means we have Orlando. means we have COD XP. Got a lot of good stuff going up. I'm excited. A lot of big events coming up. A lot of great Call of Duty action to come. But, uh, God, that game was absolutely breathtaking. One of the more fun CTFs we've been able to cast. And uh, with that comeback from OG, but turned down at overtime, that is going to push us to the game five. But I'm really excited to see what yeah. Revan is going to be able to have to break down for us from that CTF. A big performance from Enable propels FaZe to a game four victory, and they force the game five. Take a look at the scoreboard behind me. That really tells the story. Plus 14 for Enable, plus 7 for Zuma as well. Good combined effort from both of those players. Now, one clip I want to highlight for you guys. It was the tying cap that Scumpy started for Optic Gaming during this time. It's 32 phase. I, I feel like at the beginning of this clip, this wasn't really a pull that was designed to cap a flag. But let's roll the clip, see how the action unfolds here. For Scump with his kinetic armor available, he initially pulls the flag. And you see where his teammates are positioned, right? Most of them are just coming off of respawn. And for that exact reason, I, I felt like when he initially went for this pull, it was just to draw phase out of position and allow his teammates to push up on the map. 
But what happens is he pulls the flag, and then he shows great patience here. Wants to pop this kinetic armor. Clayson does find the angle here, but he's unable to stop the flag being pulled further. Stumpy was able to get the flag far enough away where his teammates can continue the run. Looks like it's Formal who winds up putting it in. And that winds up tying up the game with less than two minutes remaining. So moving over to the Telestrator. Of course, the flag that Optic Game Guard attacking is highlighted in red. Skump's initial positioning is over here, your top arm. Granted, he has kinetic armor available. Close quartered engagement is about to happen, but his teammates, you saw where they pushed up. One was like uh, about to enter tracks, and the others were coming off respawn outside auto. So Skump is all alone, and keep in mind, like he's surrounded by phase players, ready to intercept them, ready to try to come down and, and block off where he's gonna be running the flag. But once again, he shows great patience. What happens is he waits inside barn, and nobody from phase commits to go inside barn to challenge him. Even though Scumpy gets EMP'd, which means that he can't pop his kinetic armor, he winds up buying enough time for this player to push through tracks, give him some help. This guy winds up rotating over to continue the flag run. Scump also wins some key engagements, and it was very cool to see as, you know, this guy dies, Scump then is able to push out through barn, gets all the way towards the middle of the tracks, and then winds up putting himself in a position over to your back tracks to stop the flag run, but unfortunately he could can't really do much more from that specific scenario. It was a really well-designed flag run from Scumpy. Once again, just looking at how things unfolded on the minimap, I really felt like it wasn't really a flag pull designed to cap a flag at the end of the day. It just kind of worked out that way just because of good, smart patience shown, shown by Scump in that situation. But we're going to game five. If you're just tuning in, this is how the action unfolded so far. Three points separated these teams in the hard point. Optic Gaming then dominated the following search and destroy. FaZe were able to eke out the win in the following uplink. Then you saw how everything unfolded in that CTF. Search and destroy EBAC will be the final match for today's match of the week. I'm going to send it back over to Maven and Mr. X to see if FaZe can complete the reverse sweep. Marvelous stuff from Revan, our resident uh, COD scientist, as he's breaking it down. I, I, a, I love it's him. A, it's a new title. The COD scientist. I love him on the Telestrator, man, breaking stuff down. Like, when he gets into his little nerdy groove, like, sometimes sometimes Revan can be, like, a little bit of a quirky guy, a little bit awkward, but, like, I love him. But, like, when he gets into that mode, man, it's like his natural habitat. Yeah. Just breaking stuff he down. He loves to break stuff down. He does. Excellent.